Now new at 530, tomatoes, kale, fresh strawberries, just some of the fruits and vegetables that tantalize our taste buds this time of year from our local farms. But with the constant rain this spring, some are worried the crops are struggling, but not the case, says one local farmer. In fact, he tells me it's the opposite. This is collards. This is green curly kale. These are just some of the more than 200 different crops farmer John Wilson grows. He owns this farm. I was going to say I'm the farm owner, but I think the farm owns me. New Earth Farm in Pungo. Lettuces have really benefited from this weather. They've grown. Rainy, chilly weather. It's what we've seen so far this spring. So this has been a perfect season for us, for all the spring greens we have. He says the rain mixed with the combination of his location near the Pungo Ridge and the organic soil he uses means crisp, healthy produce. It's the opposite outcome of what many may think. This soil can actually absorb water much better than when I first got here and on other farms I've had. Water absorption, he says the key to make the rain work in his favor. In fact, his crop is so successful this go around, he's giving some away to shelters. I just haven't had enough customers to, to make up for how much bounty we've had this year. Uh, and that, of course, also makes me happy. He says this is the best spring he can remember. I can eat a plate full of that myself. And he's been farming for more than two decades. Now, some low-lying farms are struggling, though, with the rainfall we've seen in the last month. John says he's one of the lucky ones. Cool, wet soil can lead to diseases in summer crops, especially for tomatoes.